In the Southeastern Conference, football is a family tradition. We've always lived around football, and I believe that that's one of her number one decisions for deciding to come to Alabama for all time. How many Saturdays have we sat on the couch? Sundays we've sat on the couch and watched a game together. Throughout the years, the SEC has seen its fair share of sons, brothers, and cousins take the gridiron. Of course, you've got Peyton and Eli Manning, whose father Archie suited up for the Ole Miss Rebels in the late 60s. Then there's Ronald, Champ, and Boss Bailey, who led the Georgia Bulldogs' defense throughout the late 90s and early 2000s. While those have become legendary SEC names, one could argue that the greatest lineage of football families lies right here in Tuscaloosa. Colwell holding, Davis boots, and Alabama leads 7 to nothing. Among the earliest is the Davis family. Tim Davis was the first of four brothers who kicked field goals and PATs for Alabama, scoring 139 points for the Crimson Tide from 1961 to 1963. Tim was followed by younger brother Steve, who scored 112 points at the capstone from 65 to 67, and was followed by younger siblings Bill and Mike, who booted for Bama from 1971 to 1975. All were sons of Alvin Pig Davis, the first player ever recruited by Bear Bryant when he became an assistant coach at Alabama in 1936. But the Davises aren't Alabama's only kick in Kenfolk. Who could forget the kick by Van Tiffen in 1985? There's some, the kick is up. Long enough. It's long enough, and it's good! He made it! Van's son Lee would take over the kicking duties for the Tide in 2006 passing his father as Bama's all-time leading scorer with 350 points. Muscle Shoals native Lee Tiffin joining us now. And Lee, this has been an incredible season for you. You're an All-American. you got the scoring record at Alabama. You passed your dad on the scoring list. Bobby Humphrey did his fair share of scoring for the Tide in the late 80s, amassing 40 touchdowns throughout his illustrious career. 30 years later, his son Marlon would strive to keep Tide opponents out of the end zone. Second and eight. Deflection. Intercepted. Humphrey scores. The Castiles, the Brits, the Croyles, the Warmacks. The list of Bama football families is endless. But here, the family nature doesn't end on the gridiron. It transcends the athletes and pours into the community. There's even an entire weekend dedicated to family at the capstone. And it's here, in these moments, that we see the lasting impact of the game. It means a lot to me. My parents are so supportive of everything that I've done this far and I think to honor them and kind of be a legacy to them and you know it's just so great to look up and see them and they're just so supportive of me and everything I've done and I just can't thank them enough and it's fun to look up around and see 101,000 people. It's cool to see your parents looking right at you supporting you the whole time. <laughs> I like having them in the audience because I like having somebody to perform for. I think there's only one home game that they've missed. And today is Alumni Band Day, so I get to go on the field and march with my daughter. And that's a real, real big deal for me. It'll be pretty fun. <laughs> I don't want to cry on camera, but every time she walks out there for the Elephant Stomp or for a free game or halftime, I get a little cheery. I can't even describe it. It's an experience I never would have thought.